He ran, what, 30 metres to score that try. I couldn't work out why he was so great. But he just it didn't matter what he great. did. <laughs> yeah. he, he would always win man of the match, no matter what. Yeah, you know, yeah. It, yeah it was like, it was soul destroying. <laughs> Origin just warms our winter hearts, mm. doesn't it? It's coming up. Mm. Best player ever. The hard one. There's been some pretty good ones. it has been too many. Mm. You make Origin, you're good. What, so you don't have a best ever? I don't. Like Wally's the standout, if we go... Way back. Man of the matches, <laughs> things like that, but he's a Queenslander. So. Well, hang on a minute. I think Barry Gomesall got more than, than Wally in the Man of the Match Awards. <laughs> well, a lot, of, sure. a lot of times up. maybe the ref could be the Man of the Match. <laughs> he did, don't worry about that. <laughs> well, they can, they can spoil it. Yeah. You know, for longevity, you, you probably look at Cameron Smith and what, what he did with that, that, that run for Queensland. But for me, I think Brad Fittler is my, uh, is my pick. Mm. Freddie, just uh, everything good about Origin. And he came in. I remember, I remember sitting on the bench with Freddie when he was a... 19-year-old only played a handful of, of games for Penrith first grade. And I thought, what, what are they seeing this kid? But boy, oh boy, what a, what a career he had. What a great player. Wow. Was it true that Jack Gibson really didn't know who he was? He, he did. I, I was there in the circle when, he, 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 if you've got his name, was Bradley, and he called him, he said, you young, young Freddie over there. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and that's how it stuck. That's how it stuck. <laughs> Sean, mm. your man? The great man. Turvey. Turvey. Oh, Steve Mortimer. Yes. The three-peat. Yes, exactly. You know, he was inspirational. That was one of the great series of all time, and the bandaged head and the being held aloft. I think that's one of the one of the great images yeah. of images uh, of, uh, of, of origin is, uh, of origin for New South Wales Welshman. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. Queenslanders might argue with that, but yeah, well, long well, time between drinks. I'm going to say Wally, well, Wally Lewis. You serious? Mate, you You're got a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> you go for Manly <laughs> and now I go for Manly. Oh, oh, right. Right. The plot thickens. <laughs> no, no, proud New South Welshman. Uh, but I reckon Origin is about, yeah, heroes, but villains. Mm. It's yeah. villains. Yeah. Yeah. There was nothing I love seeing the smile wiped off Wally Lewis's well. dial after an Origin game. Unfortunately, when I was growing up, it didn't happen too no. often. Yeah. He was just so good. Well, he just rose if, if it was what's your moment, I go to Wally and Gaia. Yes. That. That was one of the great Origin mm. nights, full stop. In the rain, SFS, Michael yeah. O'Connor kicked the goal from the sideline to win the match, but MG and Wally's... Yeah. Dust up. He won the game. David, off his David Manson is it? Yeah, trying to get, trying to get in the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 He, he ran what thirty metres to score that try. I couldn't work out why he was so great. He, but he, he just it didn't matter what he great. did. He, <laughs> yeah. he, he would always win man of the match, no matter what. It was soul destroying. Yeah, you look at, <laughs> yeah, you look well, at that and superstars, and, and, and you can see their pace and their swerve. And yeah. then there's Wally. It's funny we've all gone back to the early days of Origin. I mean, yeah, without maybe having the, that sort of you know villain and Wally and. You know, his, his clashes with guys, maybe Origin wouldn't be the thing that it is these it's, days. It's slightly sanitised it perhaps now, now Origin. Now. Yeah. Whereas Origin... Since this one out of... Yeah. That's... Yeah. Gal, who did Gal hit? Not that uh, I can name. Miles. 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 No, big target, but yeah. Wishka. <laughs> on Rodney's yeah. that chin. Was, that was basically it, wasn't it? It, it was. Yeah, a bigger yeah, target. Yeah, wow. Well, <laughs> well, that was yeah. the end. <laughs> one thing's for sure with your vote for Freddie, you've mm. got yourself a nice room for this year's Origin camp. Oh, no. really? <laughs> uh -huh. There's no hidden agenda there, folks. Well done, well done. Good stuff, Zero. <laughs> Stats. Oh. Completion rates. Penalties. We like them or are they overrated? Hate them. Hate them? Hate them. Wow. I look back at a lot of players who were well, that selfish because all they're playing for was stats. They, they would take hit-ups just to get their stats up. Run metres. That's <laughs> not what the, the game's about. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say that. Yeah. Um, you know, so it, it, yeah. it's, it's, there's lots of ways you can construe how they how they look with, yeah. with, with players. But, I mean, if you drop the ball, you drop the ball. You're not, if you're not completing, that's... So, you, and side. you look at tackle counts these days. A lot of guys are in the 60s when... Yeah. Back in you know your day, there's probably like thirty was a forty was a lot of tackles. Yeah. So but now there's four there. in a tackle. Oh, that's right. You know yeah. you just you be, on be last man in. Yeah, last man in. Where's he stop? Pine marsh, the flopper. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's it exactly. <laughs> Tell you very quiet in the corner over there. Yeah. I, I like a stat. Stats do reveal certain facts. There's too many stats, arguably. Mm. Total receipts. I'm still not sure what total receipts are, <laughs> but uh, you know, post contact meters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about, again, Sarah mentioned balance. Mm. What's your favourite one? What's it all? I look at missed tackles straight off the bat. As a Sharkies fan, mm. uh, we, we make under 20, we win games. Mm. We make 35 over, we often lose games. So I think there's well, some stats. Most, most teams would be yeah. in the same boat, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. so I think yeah. you can, if you pick and choose uh, and things like that, uh, you know, Moneyball uh, was mentioned about yeah. 
looking at stats of other players. If I'm in the line, when I played and I, I would, I, you know, after a game I might have 18, 20 tackles, and the coach would say, well, mate, what are you doing, you, you, you lazy so-and-so? Well, are you going to run at me or are you going to run at Benny, Benny or <laughs> Gary Freeman there? Mm. That, that, you, you know, there's blokes you wouldn't run at. Mm. You know, I mean, it's, it's a bit different now because mm. you're getting gang tackled by. Yep. But, but back in the you know, 80s and 90s, maybe even 70s, there's blokes you don't run at because you know you're going to get Get mm-hmm. whacked, mm. absolutely whacked, and then you might get an elbow on the way down. Were stats, no. were stats big? No. no, no, not not really. I mean, they started to come in the game, mm. but you know, you, you remember the old, old, old broadcast and replays. You know, here's a halftime tackles, and you know, yeah. you get one bloke on eighteen or fifteen. You know, and it, it's it's how you how you define a tackle. Like if your first man in and make it, it or it can make people. The illusion of intelligence, perhaps. Oh, I mean, yes. That's why I use them that's on exactly our podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he, he knows his stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like, just because you can quote from, you know, whatever. And a lot of commentators these days do. Mm. That's all they go. Oh, mate, this place run. He runs for an average of 120 metres. Mm. Well, what does that mean? Yeah. Does that mean he runs the ball off his line when, when you're getting belted early in a game? When the bloke who carries the ball, tackle one or two, are going to get whacked. They're the tough carries in a game of footy mm. where, you know, and that's running, just done running, by wingers Running these tackles days. three and four, but they're, they're the easy ones once you, you get off your line. Because you can't actually measure effort. Mm. Stats are the, the ultimate byproduct of the effort that you notice that you can't define with a number. Yeah. Yeah. It, but you can't, you can't put, oh, well, that team had a 98% effort level. Well, that's defined by how many run metres. Which and is that. symbolic of all that's wrong in the world because basically you've got bean counters, accountants run every business now. Yeah, and it, there's, there's no quantification of ability or, you know, how good you're doing your job. It's there's like no how feel. many viewers yeah. there are, how many, yeah. how many advertisers there are. We're not talking are. to the workers, but we know what you need. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is, this is just part of that, I think. Yeah. And it's just that it's these people that are making up jobs for themselves, coming up with a lot of, you know, BS, like mm. you said. And completion rate's not a bad yeah. one, though. Yeah, yeah, well, I used, to like, I used to like scrums one against the head. There you go. <laughs> never see that again. No, you never see a push scrum. <laughs> yeah. uh, stats are overrated. Yeah. One thing, I will be searching for a stat of how many people actually watch this just to make sure. That <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right. Just to make ourselves <laughs> Please watch that <laughs> <laughs> Here's an easy topic, guys. Mm. Best coach of all time, Sean and Tony. First of all, from a fan's perspective, yeah. what do you reckon? Oh, I'd say Phil Gould would have to go run a pretty close. That's because you're a first. dog. Huh? Well, you know, he's a dog. <laughs> sure, he's a, he's a jet as well. But, he's uh, still coaching. Hey, well. uh, he is. Absolutely. Absolutely. Occasionally, Occasionally, absolutely yeah. To. I mean, coaching is a real, uh, for players, it's a real personal thing. So Gus Gould, very good for, for a three-game origin series, but could I handle Gus week in and week out for 26 weeks? Maybe not, you mm. know. So if you look purely at stats and premierships, well, there's, you know, there's, there's, there's two or three contenders. Bennett's clear cut. He's got seven. Superstar, Bronco, no salary cap no. team. Thank Allegedly you. no salary Allegedly, cap. Allegedly. <laughs> you know. Allegedly. I, it, it wouldn't have taken too much to perhaps lead that side around. They probably coached themselves back in those days. Uh, but my, my favourite's Bellamy. Six wins. Well, two taken off him. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Throw that up. But yeah. the, the one thing with Bellamy, to my knowledge, he didn't buy a superstar. He made a superstar. He made plenty of superstars. Uh, mm. you know, that, he, can, he can polish a turd, yeah. is, is Bellamy's. Why would you want to do that, though? But, yeah, I'll get your point. <laughs> mind <laughs> you, mind you, he, he, their recruitment staff at, at, at Melbourne are second to none. Mm. They ID best talent at, at 17, 18 years of age, mm. and they come down and do the, the, famous, the famous army camp or whatever they do, and it's to see... Get a character Well, that was the Finucane deal. Yeah, well, Finucane well, exactly, was the killer. Exactly. The so camp. you, being a great coach, you're sometimes just being a good man manager or having really good people around well, you. It depends on coaching styles and well, they've changed. offense and defense coach now too. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that change in generational. Yes. You know, with the Warren Ryan hardline teacher. Roy Masters. Teacher style but nice. Roy Masters slapping yeah. around the face compared <laughs> to uh, Brad Fittler, let's take your shoes off and walk on the grass, boys. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Get the minerals in. That's That sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah drink kombucha or something. <laughs> um, I mean, you said no to him once upon a time, Bob Fulton. Yeah. He was pretty good. I don't know. He <laughs> 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 cost you a bit of money, didn't it? <laughs> and a premiership. Yeah. And a premiership. And a but apart from that, it was a good decision. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh. But Bob, Bob had the advantage in the 80s of Manly of having some packer money help him out, yes. you know, getting the best players or trying to attract the best players mm-hmm. at the time. But I'd lean towards Bennett because 
he not only took Brisbane to where it did and it was a start up, there was a lot of pressure there to get it right and they didn't get it right in the first mm. couple of years, but he managed to get the Dragons a premiership. Now mm. just think about that in the modern oh, that, day. That's the tick of the box. That's mm. a miracle. I think. <laughs> that's that is, a bloody miracle. That is the big one. Yeah. They're normally the March premiers of Dragons, aren't they? But, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tim Sheens, he studied under Tim Sheens as well, Canberra, who mm. you'd know pretty well. Yeah, yeah, well look at Tim, Tim's record now, all, all the coaches. Of a family that, tree. Yeah, yeah, so Sheensy sits there and you look at you know, Maguire and Bellamy and, uh, you know, all oh, those, Toddy Elliott, Payton, all those, amazing, every, yeah. every coach has maybe got a little splash of uh, Sheensy. Well, does that put Sheens up in the oh, top? Oh, Sheens top in the mix. Sure. Yeah. He's in the mix. And the new That's one it. is Trent Robinson. Mm-hmm. Hasn't quite got the runs yeah. on the board, but, Not yet, but that talk of he, he created Fitzgibbon and Jason Rolls is there now and yeah. they all go there for a chance. So, in conclusion, Bellamy? Bellamy all the way. Uh, ability to turn no ones into superstars, I suppose. But no, I'd say Phil Gould, just because he's all round, he's just, he just has that presence. Well, they still ask him to talk before every origin. <laughs> well, there you go. Good to go. You're going to ask me, aren't you? If you had to put me on the spot and say who, who is it, I'd, I'd probably have to go belly A too, just because I look at the players who have left Melbourne who have not reached the heights that they did when they were at Melbourne. I mean, mm. obviously playing on a great side with... You know, great halves and a hooker, you know, it, it, it makes you look good. But that's that's the beauty of coaching, you know, you, you can bring those blokes in and, and do that job. If I was really pushed on it, I'd have to say Billy Ake too. Mm. I'll go Bennett, but it is one of those questions that doesn't really have an answer. No. Yeah.